Um, but I wanted to pivot in to the the real, because now it's down to business, right? I was yeah. like, okay, we had fun. We're going to weave in fun into yes. this whole conversation. Yes. But the purpose of us being here today is we wanted to talk about audits. We wanted to talk about content audits and podcast audits. And I really just wanted to start with the question of why do you think it's so important to have a system in place to measure what you're doing or look back on what you've done in the past and either iterate on it, change, pivot, or anything like that? Yeah, I mean, I think, especially when you frame an audit up like that, it's almost taking a minute to look back at the work you've done to analyze. So moving forward, you can do the things that worked more often and pull off some of the things that haven't worked. We even, one of our current clients just sent us, she's in the financial like bookkeeping accounting space, so she's totally a numbers person. And she had someone inside of her agency pull basically a deep dive of where every client they booked in 2021 came from and podcast guesting is her primary marketing outreach and they organized it into different niches so that we can double down on pitching her for more shows in those niches in 2022. So even auditing the impact I think is really important. But when you speak to auditing like an episode of either you as a guest or you as a host, So many of us don't like to hear ourselves, and I know you've tackled this before. We don't like to listen to ourselves either as a host or as a guest, but you can never get better if you don't listen and make improvements. But on the flip side, I have actually gained confidence in myself and my ability to be a guest and a host by listening because I, you're internally so much more critical of yourself. But then when you hear an episode and you're like, oh, she does know exactly what she's talking about. And it was a great interview. And my voice is not as high pitched as I you know, thought it was. So I think there's a lot of different places where an audit can be helpful. But it's really taking that hot second to look back and be able to make improvements and um, informed decisions moving forward. Yeah, well, you're sitting here saying this, and I'm, I'm thinking about those people that have already launched a podcast. And they're like, has Angie ever gone back and listened to one of her original episodes? <laughs> like, how have how has your podcast? Have you ever audited your own content and been like, "This was amazing" or "This was terrible"? So, <laughs> I actually I have not gone back and listened to beginning episodes, and this is really good for you and I to be talking because I more edit my guest interviews, like me showing up on someone else's show rather than my own. Um, That said, I have gone recently, I've been really looking to up level the content that I'm sharing and even just the structure of my own show. And so I've definitely like listened to beginning snippets and like how I lead into the content. And I'm really tightening it up a bit and getting into the meat and potatoes rather than a lot of like their previous babble and I always like share how I know my guests. I'm like, I don't really know if my listeners care that much about it, but I don't know if I've done like a full audit. Have you? Yeah. Well, like I'm constantly looking at the numbers as far as like, if I'll see a big spike in my downloads all of a sudden, I'm like, well, you know, let me go in. And people always, I think a lot of people assume that I'm always in my stats, like every day combing through and I'm not y'all. I don't look at them every day. I look at them every other day, but you know, (laughs) I only pull (laughs) reports once a week. (laughs) Exactly. It's no big deal, but you know, it's, I do, I audit my content a lot because I am looking for not vanity metrics, but I'm like, did something work? And the only way to really know if it worked is if I see a spike and then I realize, oh wait, that wasn't for a recent episode, that was for someone, and you could see that someone went back and binge listened to all these old episodes. And so it reminds me, is that optimized? Do I need to make sure that I, like, is my latest offering there? Or like you said, if you've rebranded, are your old links there? Do you need uh, to go they back are. and it's update? Awful. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like there's, so this is the way I look at auditing my content is not so much because at this point, I mean, we have hundreds and hundreds of podcast episodes. I don't think, oh, I need to go audit and check every single one, but I will pay attention to the ones that are really outperforming all the other ones. And those are the ones 
that I make sure that they're optimized or if, you know, if the sound is terrible, it's too late. I can't do anything about yeah. it, but I can always, you know, look at, can I, you know, add an image there? Or can I add another link to, or has the guest, this is another way to like, just give back to the people that are in your community is like, yeah. you know, Angie's rebranded. Like maybe I need to go back to her original episode and I'm going to do this after we're done here. <laughs> I'm going to say, Angie, is there anything you'd like me to add to your old interview that you did? We can up update the links. We can, you know, make sure your social profiles are okay. So there's all these different ways that you can look at it, but I don't know. Is, is that like too much? I feel like I went down a nerdy rabbit no. hole there. <laughs> you know, what's like super interesting is I think you and I had different ideas of what, when we said audit, like yeah. I immediately, immediately go to listening to the content and seeing mm -hmm. how I can show up differently. And you went to the numbers. And I think the beauty is when you do both because yeah. I definitely pull numbers and that's something we've looked at even with some of our students in the co-op that host, like for the most part, their solo episodes get far more. So for me, when I look at my episodes, my um, interviews where I have a guest on my show, they get more downloads initially. But when I look at how long listeners stayed with the episode, it's my solo episodes that they listen to the highest percentage of the actual audio. And so that informed me going into this year of, all right, let's make sure when I'm bringing someone on, it's super purposeful. And if I can tighten it up a bit, it'll be great because people can stick with it. Um, but I like the, the synergy of auditing both yeah. the content of the audio and like, how did it perform? <laughs>